everyone, I am Shaina Jamdani and today I am going to read out a short story for all of you. Mamani's Adventure by Mitra Fukan Mamani was a sweet 7 year old girl who lived with her mother and brother in a tea garden in Assam. Her mother worked as a tea picker in the garden. Moina, Mamani's brother, at 10 years was the man of the family, for their father had died when they were tiny. Moin and Mamani went to the tea garden school. Mamani finished school early and always scampered home to help her mother. Sometimes her mother would be at work. Mamani would skip along to watch her mother and her friends plucking tea leaves. At times, her mother would let her pluck them as well. This made Mamani feel important. She would wonder where her leaves would go. Perhaps to the breakfast cup of a lady in the city or perhaps even to a house of a little girl like herself in a far away place. Mamani's house was situated a little away from the houses of the other workers. It was near a lovely little laughing brook that danced and sang merrily. Occasionally, the children went fishing in it and then they would have fish for dinner. Moina had planted some sugar cane near their house. When the sugar cane is ripe, he told Mamani, we will sell it at the Friday Bazaar. With the money we earn, we can buy sweets for the Bihu festival. So every morning before leaving for school, both children carefully tended the patch of sugar cane. They dug up the land, uprooted the weeds and watered the plants. Soon, the sugar cane grew strong and sturdy. That is a lovely patch of sugar cane, said their uncle Deepu when he came to visit them. Be careful of Ganesh though, he has a real liking for sugar cane. All the tea garden workers were terrified of Ganesh. The garden was surrounded on all sides by thick forests where many wild animals lived. There were tigers, deer and rhinoceros and there were herds of elephant. The workers called them Ganesh after the elephant-headed god. These herds would fearlessly walk through the garden for food and destroy their valuable plants. The workers had to take torches of fire and chase them away, for all wild animals are afraid of fire. The children were very brave. Don't worry, they told their uncle Deepu. We have made a torch with rags soaked in kerosene. If Ganesh comes, we will chase him away. So Mamani and Moina tended their patch carefully and kept a lookout for the elephants. I think next Friday I will take it to the bazaar, said Moina one day. Next day, when Mamani returned from school, there was nobody at home. She went outside to look at the sugar cane. She thought it would soon be ready for the market. She wandered around. She wandered down to the stream. It was a beautiful sunny day. The birds were singing among the trees. Everything was peaceful. Suddenly, Mamani heard a sound that startled her. It was a soft sound which sounded like woof. Mamani knew very well what it was. Ganesh! She looked around wildly and there, just across the stream, he stood. He was huge and his two large tusks gleamed in the sun. His trunk was swinging gently to and fro and he was staring at the clump of sugar cane. The torch! Mani remembered the torch that they had made for such an occasion. She found it in a corner, ready to be lit. But where, oh, were, where were the matches? Mother always kept them in the kitchen, near the stove, but they were not there now. Mamani saw from the window that Ganesh was getting nearer. She went outside and stared at him. She was not afraid, only terribly worried. All their hard work Hard work would soon be nothing. Then Mamani had an idea. Perhaps, she thought, I can make him listen to me if I sung. Uncle Deepu says that Ganesh understands everything. 
So, clapping her hands to keep time, Mamani sang to the tune of a Bihu song, which she knew. Oh, Grandfather Ganesh, you are the king of the forest. We all bow to you. Oh, Grandfather Ganesh, the forest is large and wide. Oh, Grandfather Ganesh, go back where you came from. Oh, Grandfather Ganesh, our, for our hut is tiny and small, and the sugar cane that you see is to feed our family. Oh, Grandfather Ganesh. Ganesh twitched his ears. He halted in the middle of the stream. He raised his trunk and sniffed the air. Then, as Mamani continued to sing, he turned and went back slowly. Once or twice, he looked around longingly at the sugar cane. But Mamani sang on without a pause, clapping her hands to keep time. And finally, with one last look, Ganesh disappeared into the forest. Mamani! She heard a cry and her mother came rushing to hug her. She had seen the elephant disappearing into the forest. My brave little girl, now I have a son and a daughter to support me. You're equally good. I am lucky. When Mona came home, he too was very happy and proud of Mamani. Soon the whole village came to know of the incident. Next day, both children cut the sugar cake. Mamani took a large piece and left it at the edge of the forest. For Ganesh, she explained. And that evening, as Moina and Mamani were helping their mother in the kitchen, they heard a deep bellow from the forest. It is Ganesh, said the children. He is saying thank you for the sugar cane. The end. So in this story, we can see how brave and courageous Mamani was. She bravely and fearlessly tackled the situation of the elephant with the presence of her mind and also we can see uh, Mamani fearlessly tackled the situation of the elephant and protected her crops from the Ganesh so that he wouldn't eat it. Also one more theme highlighted in the story another message that we can find is that at the end Mamani's mother said that now she had two sons so we can also see from the story how equally fearless, dauntless and how equal girls are to that of boys. Mostly in the earlier times also it's seen that girls were not as were not given much privilege as that of boys and still in some rural areas it's still it's still persistent. But we should see that girls today in the future and in the modern world they are far more advanced. And they are actually competing with boys. And there are many examples. We have many fearless heroes, fearless women fighters who have taken a prominent seat in our histories and they have shaped today's future. So we shouldn't take girls less than boys. Hope you enjoyed the story and learned a lesson. I'll be coming back with another story very soon. Thank you.